Now, one more option that you have and you see sometimes is a three surface layout or a three surface aircraft. Now, the question that somebody will ask is that if you can make a design with only two surfaces, then why use three surfaces? Because it adds cost, it adds weight and it will give you larger wetted area. So, in a three surface layout as can be seen in this picture, you have one surface in the front which is the canard, the second one which is the wing and the third one which is the tail. This is why we call it as a three surface layout. So, obviously, there must be some benefit and the principal benefit is that because there are three surfaces, you are able to trim the aircraft with near minimum drag over a much wider center of gravity range. Because you can load or unload each of the two extreme surfaces to allow creation of the moments required to balance about the center of gravity. And secondly, if you do it very carefully and if you design it very carefully, efficient component integration can actually save weight. If you notice in this picture for example, the wing of this aircraft uh, Piaggio P180 Avanti seems to be a much slenderer and smaller compared to a typical wing that would be needed for an aircraft of this particular type. So, this particular aircraft GP180 has earned the epitaph of the Ferrari of the skies. This is a image of the aircraft uh, taken from the bottom and uh, many people would think that this aircraft is flying from right to left because they see the engines mounted in that fashion, but actually it is flying from left to the right. So, I think it is very important for us to get familiar with this very interesting aircraft, it is one of my favorites. So, I thought it is better we watch a short promotional film about this aircraft. The original Piaggio Avanti P180 twin turboprop pusher first flew in 1986 and was certified in 1990, yet this 2001 model still looks as futuristic as it did more than a quarter of a century ago. Perhaps unsurprisingly, this aircraft is still aerodynamically in a class of its own. The small forward lifting wing means that the rear horizontal stabilizer is also a lifting surface, resulting in a 34% decrease in main wing area. Even the fuselage itself is shaped to add to the aircraft's total lift. The narrow cord wing ensures that the laminar flow is maintained to around 50% of wing cord, compared with around 20 to 25% for conventional tractor turboprops where the propeller wash disturbs the airflow over the wing. An underlying reason for its ability to maintain laminar flow is the quality of the surface finish. Although the Avanti is 90% aluminium alloy, the fuselage and wing look like they're molded from composites because they're constructed with airframe panels held in place in the jig during assembly by large vacuum pads so that the frames and ribs can be riveted from the inside. This makes for an exceptionally smooth finish and reduces drag. The result is that the Avanti offers superb performance for a turboprop, a cruise ceiling of 41,000 feet, with a cabin altitude of only 6,600 feet, cruising around 350-360 knots in the high 30s, with a fuel burn less than 300 pounds per side, and a range of close to 1450 nautical miles which means you can fly a thousand nautical miles in a little over three hours, burning just 1,600 pounds of fuel. The aircraft is certified for Category 2 instrument landings, steep approaches and flight into known icing, and the Avanti has the ability to operate on short runway lengths of only 1,070 meters at maximum weight. This airframe has also been recertified to increase maximum takeoff weight to 12,100 pounds allowing an extra two passengers at the maximum fuel load. The cabin provides a stand-up height of 1.75 meters and a width of 1.85 meters, dimensions only bettered by super mid-sized jets. The 
Covington seat up to nine in a corporate shuttle layout, but typically seats six in this VIP role with an aft toilet. The Avanti is certified for single pilot operation. The Avanti is a DC electrical aircraft with no APU, but you can use an external power cart to load the FMS prior to start. All engine start and run switches are centrally located in one panel at the forward end of the centre console, just ahead of the throttles. A rotary test switch on the base of the console is used to check all ancillary systems, such as hydraulics, electrics and de-ice, and the aircraft can be ready to taxi in three to four minutes after engine start. Avionics include weather radar, traffic avoidance and tours, in addition to 8.33 MHz VHF radios, precision RNAV and VNAV, this P-180 also has the optional HF radio. Once Piaggio has introduced its avionics upgrade of the P-180 Avanti 2 turboprop pusher, the Avanti 1 remains an attractive proposition with its low depreciation combining with its terrific cabin and low operating costs. The Avanti has no natural turboprop competitors, its closest jet rivals being the Raytheon Premier 1 and Cessna Citation CJ1 and 2. If pure top speed is not the overriding criteria, the Avanti's combination of fuel efficiency, cruise speed, range, ceiling and cabin size are hard to beat. The aircraft deserves its Ferrari of the Skies title and can hold its own against any similar sized jet. So that was about the Ferrari of the skies. Okay. What are the design features of this aircraft which make it very distinctive? First of all, it has high aspect ratio wings as you can see in this picture, very slender wings and the engines are mounted behind the pusher engines which result in a very quiet cabin. It has got an hydral in the canards, you can notice here, one can notice here that the canards are mounted at a slight 2 or 3 degree downwards angle. We also see that the canards has flaps, it is very clear in this particular figure that uh, these canards have flaps, you, know, you can see here. You have delta fins on the aerofoil shaped fuselage. So, the fuselage itself you know is very beautifully shaped as you can see, it is shaped like an aerofoil and you have these uh, delta fins. These fins uh, enhance its lateral stability characteristics. And interestingly, the passenger cabin is mounted ahead of the wings. The wings are mounted behind the passenger cabin and the engines are mounted behind the wings. So, you have unrestricted view for the passenger, you know the view that is available to the passengers is completely unrestricted on both sides plus uh, the location of the engines behind results in very low noise levels. Thanks for your attention, we will now move to the next section.